hi guys hi hi everyone hope you are doing well today hope um the day is going wonderful for you so far if not don't worry about it all is well all is well so as you can see on my screen what i'll be doing today i'll be doing um i decided to print myself a t-shirt and i said you know what let me just show you guys the steps so what i've done i've gone ahead and i've basically typed up what it is i wanted and it is peace be still and it is taken from mark 4 verses 39 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna read that scripture to you guys so that um you can get a full understanding of basically what this scripture is about and it says here and he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great there was sorry a great calm so basically what that scripture is all about is that jesus was sleeping in the boat when there was a when a storm came suddenly whilst the disciples were in the boat with jesus and then they went and awoke him and said master we're gonna drown or something to that effect don't you care or something to that effect and then he woke up and then he rebuked the winds and the waves and then he said peace be still to the point where even they were astonished and said what manner of man is this that even the winds and waves obey so this is what i wanted to do you know in this time of unrest it is peace be still why because the god that we serve if you are a christian and watching this is the rebuker of all storm storms sorry so no matter what situation you're going through he will rebuke all storms so what i've done as you can see from the video i've put it on a black t-shirt to see on a black background sorry just to say it for me to get a visual of what it would look like and this is what i'm not sure if you guys can see it but i'll be doing the heat foiling i'm not sure so i went and did a test just to ensure that i'm doing it right so i'll be using the heat foil as well as a ps adhesive tape from sizer or caesar not sure the pronunciation and then i may use gold or let me see from my stash or i may use this color which i think may look even better to be honest i may use like this rainbow type color on a black shirt so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go through like but let me just take you through the steps so what it, it's um it's an adhesive tape let me try and see if i can find it so you guys can see what it looks like it's an adhesive film this is my roll right here and it looks like this so what you would do you would take off the pink the pink piece let me try and see if i can just unroll it a little so as you can see there's a little film on it a pink film so what you would do you would remove the pink film and then you would cut out that white transparent piece which is underneath it and you would cut it the same way as though you're cutting vinyl you would go and mirror your image and then you would cut it i found that my cut settings for this what i do i just use um the cut settings let me double check let me get rid of that it's now decided to check for an update <laughs> but the cut settings is i think the um the force is three or the depth is three and i can't remember it but i'll try and put it in the description below so basically that is what i just cut it as a normal um normal cut settings on a vinyl that i've already inputted the cut settings so as i said this is what it looks like so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna print it out and cut, not print blah. 
I'm going to cut it out and then when I'm weeding it away, I'm going to come back and then you guys can see and basically the process. But as I said before, I did it and it came out really, really nice. Really, really nice. So hopefully it will come out really nice on this here. This one which is completely like a rainbow type color. So I'm just going to try like done some funky designs to see exactly how this will turn out. So I'll catch you in a minute when I've set up my heat press and when I've done the cutting and then when I'm doing the weeding, then I will come back. So see you in a minute. Bye. Hi everyone. So I'm now back. So I've managed to cut out the, the words in the reverse but as you can see it is very very thin i had i made so many mistakes because i'm not sure there is a specific side that you need to print on so it's not and looking at it i believe me both sides look the same both sides look the same so i've managed to source it out so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna weed it so you just weed it in the reverse okay so i've managed to mark just right there at least you need a little indentation so i can see or i can remember where to start off from and then all you do is you just peel it back just like so sorry if I turn it upside down because I'm left handed and it was a bit of a struggle for me to do it the right way. Oh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to speed up the video right here and then you guys can just watch while I'm just feeding. was a bit of a mission to weed it so after it's weeded that's what it looks like ensure that you get off all the sticky pieces if not then when you put your foil on it it is definitely gonna come off wherever you place it so i just double checking because i saw a little bit of that away so basically that's what it looks like so what i'm gonna do my heat press is currently on so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take you guys over to the heat press and then i'm gonna press it and let you guys see exactly what it looks like peace be still okay guys so i'm now back my heat press is up to temperature it is going to be 150 degrees celsius and it's only for six minutes and it is a hot peel but what i'm gonna do I'm just gonna um, remove, I don't need that to be quite honest, it's because I was doing sub sublimation the other day, that's why. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna press it out, press out this shirt to remove any moisture. It's not gonna be a long press. And then, so it's now smooth. And I'm going to use my lint remover and get and get rid of any lint 
from this t-shirt because I'm not sure I mean it's good practice anyway to remove the link so let me just put it there and this is gonna be on a what's that gildan soft style 100% cotton then I'm gonna go ahead and find the middle so I'm just smoothing it smoothing it out it's not gonna be a long press it's just to get a nice sharp crease so that's it now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna so the middle is there so i now need to put my design which is there so because it is all fancy writing i don't even know i have to do it at the longest point which is the part of the s and the e so hopefully this is the middle three fingers down well yeah that looks about right so i just have to because my purse is not that big so i just have to move this up a bit i have to carry it down just a little bit more ensure that everything is on there and that's that yeah let me take you guys around so that's what it looks like before it is pressed let me put you back there so you guys can have a look and it looks fairly even but as i say it's just oops man you won't need to put any any um silicone sheet or anything on top just like with vinyl this is the protective sheet i'm just double checking again yep it looks straight enough at least it looks straight enough ensure that it's on it properly and as i said it's not a long press it's like quickly six seconds and it's a hot peel And then that's it let me carry you guys around so i'm peeling it nice and hot whoops sorry so that's what it looks like nice and crisp and then that's what's left so what i'm gonna do now sorry if i'm moving you i hope you're not getting nauseous <laughs> So what I'm going to do now, let me try and angle it away so that you guys can see. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my foil on the shirt. So what I want, I want the mark, the verse, the scripture and the verse to stand out by itself. Now I can't find my scissors. What did it? Yeah, so what I want, I would like the mark 4, for, um, 39 to stand out. So what you do, you can just cut off a piece of the foil. I don't want it to be too big because if so, then it's going to go on my um, design. So I just do it like that. And then I cut another piece like that. And then I press it down like that. Then I'm gonna let me move the scissors out of the way. Get my silicone sheet. Then I'm gonna get my foil. Oh wow. I don't need I'm I'm not wasting it I am not gonna waste it they are so thin they are so thin 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, let me see. I don't need a lot, so I'll cut it right, oops, I'll cut it right along this line because I'm not wasting it. They're a bit expensive. So when you're pressing, you need to press with the shiny side, the, the decorated side up, not this side up. It should be this side up. So I'm going to do like that. Yep, I have to ensure that I get every piece. Then the next piece, which is this piece that's left, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it like, hmm, that, and then there's a piece there that's not on it, so can I cut a piece off here, nope, so what I may do is, let me see, Um, okay, so that's that there. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to do like a little design, <laughs> so to speak. And then what I'll do, I'll just cut it there. So I'll just cut a, a snip bit off. Yeah, so I'll just, it's gonna be what you folks call funky. Uh, I'm just gonna do it like that. So that's what it looks like. Let me just try and line it back up. Let me move these out of the way. And then you get your silicone sheet. You definitely need your silicone sheet for this one. And then you put it on top. And then this one is going to be for 12 minutes. So I just need to adjust my um, timer. You know what? Let me do it for 14. Not minutes, sorry, seconds. What am I talking about? So let me, it's going back up to temperature because the temperature dropped not too long ago. So it's now at 46. Let me move you guys up a little so you can see. There we go. So it's now at 150, so it's time to press. And it says it's just 14 seconds. Does it make sense for me to speed up this video at this point? No, it's not a long press. It's not like sublimation, which is like 60 seconds. And that's it, it's finished. And this is a cold peel. So I can't do anything yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just allow it to cool down and then I will be back once it has cooled down and once i've started the peeling process see you in a minute okay guys so i'm now back it is very cool to the touch so it is time for the big reveal so i need to just do this part first and then i do it in the layers hold on let me turn it around so you guys so you, my beautiful people, can see what I am doing properly. That part didn't come out that well, but that's fine. And 
and that's it oh wow i oh wow i absolutely love this i know that if my daughter sees it she's got a one one as well <laughs> so I, I don't think i'll show her but this is what it looks like let me stretch it the feel is really nice there i didn't press that that part is and that's fine anyway so that's what it looks like oh wow that's it so that's it guys peace be still mark 4 verses 39 and that's it peace be still why because the lord he is the rebuker of all storms so have a blessed day everyone and as always may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and may the countenance of the lord forever rest upon you and give you peace and i say shalom 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 and as always peace be still bye